play Washington earns huge win against number 2 Kansas 134 Washington entered the game 129 against app top two teams away from home but defeated the Jayhawks in Kansas City. 134,252 AM Ed said he wanted to lead like Frank Mason and take on the starring role for the Big 12 King. But can Davante Graham handle this? In September, Graham sat at a table near Allen Field House in Lawrence, Kansas, and munched on his post-practice box lunch. He seemed comfortable with his new position as the catalyst for a Kansas team that had just lost Mason, the Wooden Award winner. Those around campus said Graham struggled to make his way to his summer classes because fans would swarm him for selfies and autographs. He returned for this. Not just the hoopla, but the opportunity. Head wrestled with the idea of leaving school and turning pro after last, but his new assignment was too promising to forego. Just having the ball in my hands, this being my team was definitely part of why I stayed, he told ESPN.com in September. Avante Graham WASNT feeling too good after a three-point performance in No. 2 Kansas lost to Washington, Jamie Squire Getty image with the ball in his hands, Graham could not save no. 2 Kansas on Wednesday in a stunning 7,465 loss to Washington in Kansas City. Ranked 140th by KenPalm.com entering the game on a neutral floor. With the ball in his hands, Graham finished 1-4-8 overall and 1-5 from the three-point line at a sprint center, cus second home, filled with Jayhawks fans. Last, Washington lost 22 games before firing Lorenzo Romar and his entire staff. And then Markle Fultz left school and entered last summer's NBA draft, when he was selected no. Won by the Philadelphia 76ers. The Huskies, led by former Syracuse assistant Mike Hopkins, entered this as an afterthought in the Pac-12, a league that has become an afterthought. They were a bad team last and lost the top pick in the NBA draft along with Michael Porter Jr. And the top 10 class Romar had assembled prior to his dismissal. But now they boast a win over a team that's projected to win the Big 12. Graham alone is not responsible for what happened against Washington. SVI Mike Iliuk finished 3 for 12. The team committed 13 turnovers and made only 25% of its three-point attempts. But Graham is the leader. Last Mason bailed Kansas out in situations like the one the Jayhawks encountered on Wednesday, when they tussled with an average team. This is a squad missing Billy Preston, a five-star freshman sidelined by a school investigation, and Arizona State transfer Sam Cunliffe. But did the Jayhawks really need either against a Huskies team that Virginia Tech beat by 24 points last month? No, they needed Graham to do what he said head to the day he returned. They'll rely on his heroics throughout Big 12 play, just as they depended on Mason a year ago. They'll suffer on his bad nights, like his three-point night Wednesday against the Huskies. Graham has scored 35 points twice this and collected fewer than 10 points in two separate outings, too. He has now finished three games this with a clip below 30% from the field and five contests under 40%. He finished 3 for 14 in a Champions Classic win over Kentucky this. And there was the 0 for 7 effort in the Elite 8 loss to Oregon last, along with 2 for 10 outing in a loss to TCU in the Big 12 tournament quarterfinals. Head finished 4 for 12 as Coo squeezed past Oklahoma State in a 9,085 road win in its regular season finale. Overall, Graham has had a more significant effect on Kansas this. Entering Wednesday's game, Kansas averaged a wild 1.29 points per possession and held opponents to 0.78 PPP with Graham on the floor, thehooplins.com. He's averaging 18.6 points per game while connecting on 92% of his free-throw attempts and 41% of his three-pointers. But a tougher stretch is ahead. Kansas will face undefeated Arizona State on Sunday and travel to Nebraska where Minnesota lost over the weekend on deck. 16. The Jayhawks will begin Big 12 play with games against Texas, Texas Tech and TCU. To navigate the upcoming slate, Graham has to be the man for Kansas. The Jayhawks needed him on Wednesday against a Washington squad that won just nine games a ago. He didnt show up. Sure, Kansas will rebound. The Jayhawks have Allen Fieldhouse, their greatest asset in extending their Big 12 title streak. They have Graham and a deep collection of talent that could add multiple contributors in the coming weeks. They're stacked. But this is about more than the Big 12 title streak. Can Kansas return to the Final Four and exit San Antonio with a title?
Not unless it can rely on Graham each night. Think this is harsh. Graham told ESPN.com head give himself a B-minus for last effort, despite averaging 13.4 points and connecting on 39% of his shots from beyond the arc. He understands the pressure and expectations attached to his return. I just feel like maybe there were some plays I could have been more aggressive, he said about his effort last, or overall more aggressive as a whole. He came back to lead, to have the ball in his hands. He does now. It just weighs far more than it did last.